uh, some things you're going to need for your insurance and some things you're going to need uh, for tenant checks. So the contract, whether it's an ASD or a room share, we actually looked at, and, and every now and again we continue to do this, we look at what other people use, we uh, want to find out what the tenant experience is from other people, and every now and again we will get our documents rechecked by the lawyers in case we've missed something. Because again, we're not specialists, we're generalists. We use a National Landlord Association all day long. They are fantastic. Um, our rule, they have to provide us with documents seven days in advance. So we have a little spreadsheet that says when's the move-in date and it automatically calculates the date they have to provide the documentation. Because do you know what? If you move the tenant in, you're never going to get the documents because they've got no pain point. You've got to have the documentation in well in advance. Make it easy for them. We have a tenant check-in and um, we send a document. We send them, this is the checklist of what you need to send in. And I think we've got an example in the pack this morning, haven't we? So your tenant check-in document, so they can sit there and tick, 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 tick. Here you go. Checklist for new tenants. Have you completed and returned this? Sent us a copy of your bank statement. Sent us a copy of your ID. Sent us your employee reference. Completed and returned one copy of the AST. Completed and returned your standing order form. Signed your condition inventory form. Paid your once month's deposit and provided us with your full contact telephone numbers. L make it easy for them. They're moving house. One of the most stressful things a human being can do. So let's just make them go tick, 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 tick. Right, I know what to do. Documentation is confusing for everybody. Make it clear. We're welcome to copy that as much as you want. Oops. That's, there you go. And so we, we just try and make it super easy for them. They cannot, and I will not let my team move anybody in. We'll, and we do occasionally have those moments where my team is saying, you're due it to move in in an hour. <coughs> the landlady won't let you move in unless you get this documentation. Do you know they supply it? And I won't. I'd rather have a room empty than not have the documentation because that's indicative of an inability to supply paperwork or something more serious. And I want the documentation because if anything goes wrong, I want to know where they work, what their passport is, what their bank statements are in case.